Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Whoop, 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 whoop. Disclaimer. Why my voice sounds the way it does. Number one, come on, it sounds funny. It also makes people I know laugh, like my mom. Number two, it saves about 15 minutes out of every video. Number three, no one else I've seen is doing it, so it has to be original. I guess you could start calling me the original chipmunk trucking OG. Laughter and comedy is medicine for the soul. Make sure you like and subscribe. And toot doo toot doo To be continued. I'm about to ready to tag this uh, pump behind me. I'm here upright. I'm gonna tag that pump. I'm here in Austin, Texas. I need to I need to spread my locations out so I can get to know this beautiful face and this funny voice. <laughs> you know, but uh, it is what it is. Start my morning out. It is 6:20. I am about an hour and 15 minutes away, so I'm gonna be showing up there at 8 o'clock. My arrival time is between 8 and 10, so I'm good. I'm good. So I'm gonna play some of these windows and stuff and tag this. Get my sticker. I'm over here. I'm gonna put it over the monster on the can, right? It's gonna be me as a soda. See? I'm over the can. I got my own, I got my own energy drink now. <laughs> Look, I got my own energy drink. Hey, anybody, try that barbarian rehab. That's right, kick that habit. Quit smoking and drinking with that wacky tobacco. And start drinking the barbarian trucker. Trucking live energy drink and some mac and cheese. See something crazy? I'm filling up some petrol and some diesel. Wanna see my di the diesel prices out here? Look at this. That's right, $3.50. And unleaded is like $2.60 some cents. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Feel like you're getting robbed yet? And DEF, huh? DEF, what? Diesel exhaust fluid is the same price. Oh my goodness. It actually should be cheaper. It should be like $3.19 or $2.98. Right now. It is 60 miles an hour. It's just, I wish people would. 
like you're 20 under the speed limit, you know, and keep a giant gap between you and the next car. Hey, look, there's an awesome skyline. That's a pretty skyline. I wasn't gonna let you go, but I'm recording this capital of Texas. Hey, it's prettier in uh, Chicago. Not much lit, well, it is daylight, so. I don't know what it looks like dark, but I know Dallas has got some colorful stuff that go on. don't know what the hell they're doing. Let's just build more lanes and more stoplights. Yeah. We can build an overpass over an overpass and underpass over an overpass and let's make these uh, quadruple pretzel turn bikes and all sort of... Uh, like, really? But, you know, you pay by the hour. Uh, just take an extra will be turn. I'll meet you there at Land Lakes. if the uh, picture quality was sort of bad and sort of jittery because I actually have my super stable turned off. And sorry, won't happen again. But, eh. All right, let's go flip our, our handle, make sure we're going in the right direction. I wonder why this is all jittery. Hold on. Well, arrow pointing down. I need my handle. got to go down. It's going down. All right. This is a weird setup. It pops up front, not in the back. Now make sure this is open. This is your external valve. And uh, after you get that, you want to make sure these wing nuts are extra tight. And that little nut there is tight. Make sure those are uh, shut off. And good there. And we'll do the same thing in the back. So there's two of them. One in the front, one in the back. <sighs> Pump's up there, but everything's back. Why don't you put the pump in the back and make it a rear unload? Because you can't pump off the back. You only pump up front. That's tight. That's tight. Now we shut off down there. 
Open up the internal, that opens up the uh, valve on the inside of the tank, make sure the product comes down in this gold jalopy. All right. And go push the air. Oh, let's put the air down in the back. So it's got a nice down slope. Like that. Give me one minute, let me get this started. I gotta open up that valve. Yeah, 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 let's open up that valve. Whew. There we go. Then we can start unloading. Now where's the dang thing to handle? Come on, up here. It is. It's up here. There's a lot back and forth. Hey, got dummy proof. Dummy proof. I don't know. Load. I like it. So let's pull it up. All right. You know how we check the product coming out? Let's move that old nasty bucket over here. The old nasty bucket. We'll release this. Hey, look at that gold. That's some soul man all right there, soul man. <laughs> Alright, I'm unloading now. We'll let you guys go. Oh, man. Gotta take off my shirt. All this humidity. Make me sweat a lot. You know what? I don't even want to tell you what that yellow bush or something looks like down there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> looks like a lot of something different in real life. Hey, there. Little yard drain jalopy. I bet that's fun. Oh, there's my truck. Unloading into one of these tanks. I don't know which one it is. That ain't that one because that's yellow fatty grease. Hey, it's that one. It says soy oil on that one. 178,000 gallon, no pounds, sorry. 178,000 pound capacity. So if I'm hauling in 50, it only can take three and a half of my truckloads. Want to jump through that? They take fat, fish oil, molasses, soybean oil, and probably a different type of molasses. But that's uh, some of the ingredients that go into making uh, animal feed. So, there you go, you learned something. All right, let me go watch my uh, suspension gauge to see if I'm unloading. All right, that's what I look at right there. Oop, oh, sorry. The PSI. That tells me how much product I have, right? So, if I know my PSI will be... 13, 14 PSI when I'm empty. When I'm loaded legal weight, I should be between 58 and 59, no more than 59. I started at 60 PSI, why? Because I was 80,540. So it should have actually said 59 or less, so. Just keep watching that until it gets closer to about uh, 15. And then uh, you know you're pretty much done. Yada yada, clatter, clatter, bing, bang, boom, you learn something new. Hell. So I'm waiting here to unload. I had to use my shirt, you know. Oh. You don't want to smell this later on. You know it's going to smell like dirty old socks. Sweaty old socks. But, uh, torture I have to put my... Uh, my mom has to go through sometimes. <laughs> I'm a 45-year-old male and I still torture my mom with some stink bombs. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Those... My mom will tell you what the stink bombs are. <laughs> Pet peeve hers. It's the plastic containers of food that I don't rinse out. Then I'll eat the food and leave all the residue and then wait till I get home on the weekend and she opens them up and says, Bleh! <laughs> I got the lab experiment going on. If I kill my mom, that's probably the way that she's gonna go is food poisoning. I'll try to do a better job. I'm not trying to kill you, Ma. I promise. I need you around. Alright. <sighs> gonna go play on my phone some. Again. And again. And again. <laughs> and the next time you see me, I'll be leaving here. Well, I'm done, done, done. Hee hee. Now, I'll turn around and go back to the scale house. <sighs> Still, still sprinkle a little bit. Turn off my hazards. Ugh. Oh, big old pothole. There's a lot of little flies around here. Mm, trying to avoid the... Ooh, that's a big dip. Mm. Hold on, let me back up. That's a big dip right in front of my truck. The type of dip that uh, my trailer won't like. Landing gear will hit that sucker. Ooh, it's pretty steep. Let's see if I hear it go... Ooh, not made it. overhead door that storage compartment door above the driver's seat had it open I constantly hit my damn head on that thing keep forgetting to shut it just a looking for punishment I right, scale out y'all
we all watch it live on TV. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, shout out to Urban Rescue Ranch here. Yep. Watch his videos on YouTube. They're funny. Oh, I think we got a truck broke down. Oh, no. Oh, derpa derpa driver right there, flatbed. He, 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 he must be learning. Oh, someone got in a boo boo boo. Wow. Your pickup truck is a boo boo. Yeah, boo boo. Some guy pulled his head like, oh, no. Back to normal speed since everyone's all lollygagging looking over. No flatbed stalled out. Couple of change lane flat rim, no turn signal. No turn signal, change two lanes. Stalled out on the highway. Let me see, who is it? TSH! Yo, TH, TSH! Dumb, 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 dumb. I think he got my derp derp award for the day. Failure to use turn signals to go across two lanes, traffic, get off, and he stole his truck off and, and uh, made people up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's seen it in the video. But, but back to what I was saying, shout out to Urban Rescue Ranch, watch his videos on YouTube. And yeah, Chip and Joanne. Uh, yeah, Joanne, uh, make sure you go eat at the restaurant here in Waco and, uh, and buy their goods at Ashley Furniture Store or something. Well, they're sort of expensive. <laughs> but, uh, hey, look, HEB Grocery Store. Hey, Harry Butt. You think I'm joking? Go back to my roots. Slova, Slovatex. So, Slovox, Slova. <laughs> wow, well, however you want to say it. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother was Czechoslovakian, and we got Hungarian roots, and you know, yeah, we're Slovaks, yeah. We're the a holes that wear the Adidas track shoots and play techno music in our little itty bitty cars. Yep, I gotta go to the bathroom. Too big to tend, meet you inside. has almost everything. Look at it. <laughs> I'm Golden Kimber. <laughs> oh, Grandma. Hi, Mom. Oh, how much they are. I hate when they don't have price tags on anything. That's a cute. I bet those are comfy. Hang on. Here's yours, Mom. So many knickknacks. Ooh. Oh. Why so expensive? Can anyone tell me why these are so darn expensive? How much is that Santa? I don't know. Holy crap. $71. $71 for that little nutcracker. Why? $72? Why? I just bought one. People are on crack. That is a cool one, though. I gotta admit. Okay, I I might. I probably wouldn't spend two hundred dollars, but it, like literally. Oh, creepy dolls. Oh, these are actually ethnic, coming from the other countries. Ooh, Slovak, Slovak dolls. Nice move. You get fifty dollars for some Slovak dolls. Hundred dollars. Right, I'm looking around the kitty section. Come on. Looking for a gorilla. <laughs> Funny. Uh oh, kids are behind me. I better move. I don't see any gorillas. This is close. This is close to a gorilla. Grandma? Oh, he's got a goatee. <laughs> I have no idea what these are. I guess they're called squishable. 
That's like a turkey. Like a big old fat turkey. It is a turkey. It's a giant turkey. That's a giant chicken. Someone left a dog in here. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh, it's a kitty. It's a kitty. Someone left a kitty in here. It's a kitty. It's a kitty. I'm a dog person. Like that dog right there. Look at that little bear. Ooh, I like that Santa. Wait, wait. There's two Santas. That one's short. Well, nowadays, I guess you can say two Santas are, you know, one. <laughs> Here, let's see the price. The small one is, is a, yeah. I don't know what the big one is, though. It says, don't ask. That's, that's the problem. Oh, those are cute. You can make those out of paper mache. Hmm. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> it's vegan. <laughs> 65 bucks. Not bad, though. I don't like how he's looking at me. I don't like how he's looking at me. Kissing Pig Cafe. Ah. Ooh. $23 for a big slab of income. Let's see what the prices are. Brisket, sandwiches, $8.79, sausage, especially baked potatoes. There's a Ooh, by the pound. You don't want to buy by the pound ever. It's a ripoff. Man, look at this Christmas tree. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Someone did a good job. Someone did a good job. Ooh, hats. Hats. Oh, those are cool. Cool. Hi everybody. Hi. It's got the yellow submarine. That's cool though. Not a cool price. Ah, you know what? I'm out of here. Excuse me. I forgot this area. Oh. I got some Fitbit steps in. Well, I couldn't leave without buying something, but I got something to stick on my fridge. That was such a cut. Or it's a Christmas tree ornament. It's a Texas. It's supposed to be everything bigger in Texas except the hats. Uh, I go. I gotta go ahead. Ah, oh, I didn't stick. Now I got a big old white circle on my glasses. I gotta clean off. Stupid me. Mom, I got you something for your keychain. I'm gonna keychain you up. I'm gonna give you the boot. Try the Texas boot. And it's cute though. It's shiny. It got the rhinestones. It's got the tassel and the bell. It go, goes with your Gucci ca Gucci chain. Oh wait, coach chain. Same thing. Gucci coach. It's all flashy, flashy stuff. And of course, I gotta I got get it. The t-shirt. We'll be wearing this tomorrow. But have a really nice day. Have a really nice day. <laughs> have a really nice day. <laughs> all right. Love goofing around. I gotta get my butt. Oh, you know what? Dash, I might, I got your hat, a new hat. You put on his hat. What you, what you look like, you dirty big Texan? Now that's a ten gallon hat. That's right. Dash looks handsome, doesn't he? That's a good, that's a good turkey. Oh, well, Dash, you gonna go show Dashes? <laughs> yeah, you gonna show Dashes. All right, I gotta get out of here. He's showing off his new hat.
sad dinner. Man, arugula tastes like crap. I don't like arugula, but I have to eat it anyway. How about arugula and like that kale spring mix and, and lettuce, regular iceberg lettuce? Well, mix it all up and I ain't never buying arugula again. What the hell? Well, I'd rather eat the kale, but I have like 90% arugula. But you wanna see what I'm eating? Ah, hold on, try not to drop my phone. See, I, I, I put hamburger and had, I'm trying to doctor up something. I had some tomatoes, I got hamburger, I have Spanish rice and salsa. So it's almost like a taco burrito with no lettuce, no, not no less, but dirt, I got oh, too much less. No, no uh, tortilla and sour cream and all that other stuff. So it's pretty boring, it's bland. I'm just gonna eat it and deal with it. Ugh. But with that, had a great day. Hope you did too. If you didn't, I hope it gets better. With that, I love you. Jesus Christ, he always gonna love you, friends and parents. Everyone, you know, they love you too. Just remember that. If you think they don't, they do. So just take one day at a time. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about what happened an hour ago or tomorrow. Worry about what you're gonna do now. <laughs> with that, to the do, I'll be the Zan Chow. See you tomorrow. Yes, APSA warning. Don't you dare to forget to like and subscribe, please.